by a virus. But the AIDS epidemic is not. The AIDS epidemic is fueled by stigma, by hate, by misinformation, by ignorance, by indifference. I'm not asking just for male-ran organizations that will tolerate a women's program. We want women to have the tools to follow the research for us, by us, with us. How many sex workers does your agency employ? How many have been on your board? If the answer's none, you need to change it. What would it take for you to change the hearts and minds of your local doctors or nurses so that they treated every faggot, whore, junkie, bakla, warrior, addict, money boy, call girl, bufta, dyke, katui, hydra, freak, or queer, like a person. It has been more than 30 years since the early days of the HIV epidemic when people died quickly and in frightening ways. Since the late 80s, when we identified the virus and its source of transmission, body fluids, we focused mostly on helping people change their behaviors, behaviors that put them and others at risk. While rates of AIDS deaths as well as rates of new infections have declined dramatically in some communities, the rates in other communities have remained largely unchanged. Addressing individual behaviors has not been enough. As a result, in 2010, President Obama released the National HIV AIDS Strategy, or NHAS. NHAS is the nation's first comprehensive HIV AIDS roadmap and recognizes the need to address the larger social factors, such as stigma and discrimination, that have played a significant role in the epidemic. It is these social determinants and their impact upon those living with HIV that will be the focus of this course.